we got a really interesting update with new prefabs and galleries, new settings, and access to the entire Battle Royale island. Let's get into it. All right, there's not any really good leaks today. Let's just jump right into it. First, I'm gonna use my backrooms map here to show you this new update. Hey, what's that? Is that a new level? Mm. Look out for a video this week. So as you know, my backrooms map here is built on a super large thermometer island, which uses the heat map. So here's the heat map. You can see this is level zero up here. This heavy area over here has a few levels. It's got the cave level. It's got the pool rooms down here. It's got this level and this level stacked on top of it. So it's got a lot going on. But the cool change here is if you hit T on your PC, I don't know what it is on controller. It changes to where you can see the values of like how much memory is in those spaces. So so you can see over here on level zero, this spot right there is our heaviest spot of 98,000. So I've marked it so I can now go over here and see on my marking that this is our spot that has the most memory. So now there's even one more setting. You can just turn off the heat map in general so you can see your map overview. But as a builder, this is very helpful and a really nice change. Now this next change is kind of small but cool. So if you go into your settings here, my island, you're gonna notice now the start button is right above my head. And when I go to settings or use user interface or tools that start button is always there you can also see the description and the tags that you have for that map it has the island code and, and the thumbnail i mean so this is kind of nice you can see what people are seeing for your map all the time if you need to make adjustments and how the experience is going to be for your players really not only that so if i'm going to leave this I'm going to return to the lobby when you go to play a map here i'm just going to choose one and i'm going to load into a private game here and we're just going to hit play you'll see over on the other side of the screen there's now a start button a support a creator button more info and then over right behind me right now you can see there's the name of the map the creator the island code if it's a private or public game like this is a much nicer user interface here also it's going to help people get more supporters because you don't really need to support a creator button out here anymore because it's right there in front of you when you're waiting for the game to start so when you come into more info you can come and like and favorite things you can see miscellaneous stuff like respawning all of the information that map makers put in this is a huge improvement to the previous system of just a whole bunch of information you can't click anything like this is very nice okay this next update is kind of weird but if you go to my island and then go to the, your user interface button here you're gonna scroll down and see this new setting time alive for team tracking method and you have some longest and shortest settings here so i'm not exactly sure what you're gonna use this for like i guess you could make a map where your goal is just to stay alive as long as possible and you want to calculate it by team that'd be actually kind of a fun map now that I think about it. So that's a cool little change. Now there's been a small update to the melee designer and this isn't that big of a deal, but you can now come in here and just type in whatever you want. Instead of like having to scroll through this, you can just come in and type, I don't know, like a 98 or something. Or like, I don't know, five, 470 is the damage that you can do to players. And it just changes it. So that's nice for PC users. And I just want to check one thing here. I want to bring out the prop mover and see if they've added rotation yet. There is no rotation yet. Dang it. We want rotation. Now, we actually got some new prefabs and galleries, and this is kind of confusing because the prefabs are back here, and then these are the galleries, and they all look the same to me. <laughs> but let's look through these. These are the convergence props from chapter two when the cube queen came in. Oh, cool. Wait, look at this. There is like a little particle effect here. Whoa, I bet that's in the gallery. We'll have to look at that in a little bit. But when you're looking at this, these pieces are actually huge. Like, take this out, and that is like almost a whole sculpture there. Like, you can take this piece, this piece, and maybe a couple of pieces here and that's pretty much the whole structure just a few additional things there that's interesting same thing with these other prefabs here there's some really big pieces in it that's why i'm probably confused so much because these galleries are just kind of i don't know <laughs> there's just so many big pieces involved these are really cool prefabs though i just don't really know how much people are actually going to use these galleries because they're pretty specific i don't know i can see myself using these once in a while wait a second it's the gold cabin wait is this reactive like like you bounce on it no you don't bounce on it wait is it indestructible interesting are all these pieces indestructible you can't hit them at all even in the galleries can you hit them no everything is indestructible guys okay that's good to know let's look at these galleries then so you can see these huge pieces that are very specific so it's really interesting that i don't just know how many you're gonna use that are like i want to use this exact piece i mean i guess if you're just making some like like huge area it would be very convenient to just use these and when you drop
drop them on each other, they actually drop through. Interesting. If I have my drops on, they're not like dropping on top of each other. They're dropping all the way to the ground. So this makes like a huge area pretty quickly. And when you overlap these, I'm noticing. So if I drop down this piece right here and I overlap it like that. Oh, I thought it was kind of like just melting together, but it's not. It looked like it was just because... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's some Z fighting. I thought we weren't getting any Z fighting, but there it is. All right. These pieces are really interesting. As you can see, we got lots of weird different shape. But if you don't want those weird shapes, you got like nice bigger cube areas or shapes, I should say. So like here's just a normal block that you can use to sculpt whatever you want. And just a lot of weird. Oh, wait, wait, wait here we go. We can play Tetris here with these. That's kind of cool. I wish we could change the color of it. Like It'd be really cool if you just could come in here, change the setting to blue, purple, orange, and it just automatically changes. These are nice because there is a little bit of a reflection. You can kind of see Peely there in the reflection. But they are nice in that aspect. I don't wish we had like an individual flat piece like this right now we just have oh wait 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 here is a flat piece okay there we go i guess that's as flat as you're gonna get with these galleries but let's go over here to the actual like prop gallery for this where you have the stairs now the stairs these are nice i like these stairs with little tiny cubes they're really cool and then you have these pieces here oh wait these are destructible so pretty much everything else is indestructible but those are destructible all of these wait can i blow up these no say this oh yeah the stairs are destructible too everything in this gallery is destructible but all the other galleries are indestructible okay that's good to know so with this we have our gold kevin our normal purple kevin and this other shade of purple kevin so nice to have blevin in here i wish we had blevin as well let's see yeah blevin is destructible so you can kill him oh no i killed blevin wait here i want to see how big blevin can get here if i size him up all the way boom giant blevin that's actually pretty huge like that is massive okay that's really cool all right let's get into the fun update here this is the battle Roy Allen in creative. So here's the description. We can build our own experience on the ever-changing Battle Royale map. Basically, we can control all of the loot, any mechanics and stuff like that. But, and this is a big sad but, I'm gonna read this here. This map will automatically update to reflect the latest version of the Battle Royale map. As a result, creators will be unable to edit the map itself. No! I just wanted to build my own POIs on here. I think that would be so fun. I wish they would just give us an island that never changes so we can just build our own stuff on the like a OG BR Island or something. But it is what it is. Let's uh, get into it. Okay, here we go. We're jumping in and wait, what the heck? It's matchmaking? What? Let's check this out. So I actually can't fly around the island at all. What? Oh, that's so lame. I mean, we're here at the spawn island, but I can't actually fly over to the BR Island. Oh, I can just mess around with the settings here. So we got like different settings here that we can mess with. We can still go into my island. Like I can change the time of day. So let's make it nighttime. Like, there we go. It's nighttime. I can even change the camera filter so that it's, I don't know, a neon party on the Battle Royale Island. There we go. Okay, there's our new game mode. <laughs> or we can make an old cartoon. Oh my gosh. Imagine playing a whole game mode with this weird filter on. I don't like that. So you do have the same settings as your normal creative island, but there's also these settings here you can change. There's like a loot controller. So you have current Battle Royale. You can change it to different types of things. Rare blue or better. This basically feels similar to the settings in Battle Lab. But you can change how many chests kind of so show up. I'm gonna really gonna have to dive into this to really figure out like the like capabilities of all this. Oh, look, you can have people spawn at the battle bus or through a rift. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just test this to the max the, tomorrow. This is a little disappointing in that you just can't really do much outside of these tools. Wait, let me see though, what kind of devices we can use. Okay, there's quite a few. Sequencers is really cool, but how am I supposed to place these all down on the map? Like, if I'm going to place the sequencer down, like, how am I going to place it down? Like, if I place the sequencer here, what does that even do? Like, I don't really understand the purpose of this. Oh, look, I can delete this whole section here that's, like, holding up these things. Like, I, I really don't get this. So, I've got devices I can place down myself, but I can't actually go and place them on the island. Like, I, I've got launch pads, but what is the purpose of a launch pad if I can't go place it down on the island places? I'm so confused. Yeah, so, like, look at this. There's a player reference device. Wait, what, what happens when I start the game? You can see there's a bunch of bots joining with me. Maybe I could actually win a game. I just don't understand the point of some of these devices if I can't go place them on the island anywhere. Okay, I mean, this is cool that I got my own bus. I wish we had this bus in creative, but here we are. I can jump out, and I'm assuming there's a bunch of bots jumping out as well. I still wish I could come place some devices on the map here. Yeah, here's some bots. Wow, we had a whole bunch of bots jump out here. I'm 
going to die. But I'm really going to have to play with this, guys. So tomorrow, I'll do a whole video going into depth into this game mode and really trying to figure this out. Oh, I'm going to kill my first bot. Die, bot. <laughs> So yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this mode. Tell me what I should test in this and I'll make a game mode and see how it all goes. So cool update is still to be determined if this is actually cool or not. We'll see.